Pips. 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 I'm back to me. About a business, ayy. She independent and she on a mission, ayy. Been through some shit, but now it's better living, ayy. I know that she put in some time. You remind me of me. And she get flat like me. Yeah, she rock like me. And she What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Honey K. And make sure you subscribe because we live over here, period. Okay, guys. So today is Saturday and we're going to the club. I have not been back to the club since I went to New York, you guys. So I'm going back today. So we're going to hope that today is a good night. I am feeling better, I want to say, compared to my last video that I posted, I kind of was telling y'all how I, I was feeling down a little bit or whatever, but I'm feeling like I'm getting back into the gist of my normal routine, and it's actually helping me a lot, so I'm getting back to regular honey period so i'm happy to go back to work tonight i'm hoping that i make a bag and yeah so let's get right into the video you guys this is my solo bag y'all and i have like 140 dollars honey k honey k what's your name juicy okay yeah so and then i have two other bags so yeah we're all counting our money right now. So I am home now and I'm about to do a money count. I look whooped, y'all. Don't mind me. And my voice is like gone. I was yelling, but that's beyond the point. Okay. I feel like tonight was good to me. Um, it could have been worse. But like people was definitely looking out. So I was happy about that. Like some dude handed me a whole stack, y'all. He was like here and then i have my big bills y'all know and i have my ones i'm starving y'all and then on top of that i'm so mad because my hair got caught in my fan y'all and now it's not working and i'm like how do i get my hair out of here and i want to see if i could like open this oh i think i can oh i wonder if i can get this hair out of here i'm about to get a comb let me see i was literally sweating and I couldn't even fan myself because my fan broke because my hair got stuck in here and it just stopped. But this is not even grabbing the hair. I don't want to break it all the way. Oh! I fixed it. Yes. I'm so happy. Oh my God. I fixed it. Yay. Oh my God. It's working. I'm so happy. All right, I had to, I had to clip it up or something. I made me some money tonight, period. So like the first 30 minutes I was in the club, y'all, I had made like this money right here. The dude, well, it's crazy because the guy that I had walked up to, to make this money, when I was like talking to him, he was acting really mean to me at first. So I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna walk away because you act like you want me over here. He was like, no, I want you to dance for me. And then I danced for him for one song. He didn't throw no money. I was like, do you need to get some ones? And he was like, here. And he handed me this, which is 120. And he was like, that's for that song. I was like, oh, bet. 120 for one song? Okay, period. And then everybody was just being so nice to me tonight, y'all. I don't know what it was. Like, I was just in a good mood, and everybody was just being super nice. Like, a lot of the customers were being nice to me tonight. A lot of the dancers were being nice to me tonight. Like, I was like, wow, okay. I'm feeling very good energy right now. Like, and I went to work with good energy. Like, I had a good time, and I made some money. So, I haven't been working consistently, so it was nice to be back. And everybody just be super nice and in a good mood. So, these are my big bills that I have. These are my 20s. And then I have my ones, my ones, and then I have this stack of ones right here. So that's all my money that I made today. I'm going to count it. I'm about to count these ones first. I'm going to run through the money counter. So in big bills, I made two, six, eight, ten. Oh, no. See, these are... Mm -mm. Y'all already know, if you don't know, I have to have all my money facing the same way i think the rest of it's facing the same way yeah okay all right i'm about to count my big bills so two four six eight, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's eight forty. And then I have two hundred dollars, so that's a thousand and forty. And then I have eighty nine, so eight hundred and forty in twenties, and two hundred and eighty nine in ones is eleven hundred and twenty nine dollars. So that's how much I made tonight, y'all. Eleven twenty nine. I'm happy with that, y'all. I worked the whole night by myself, and I realized that sometimes you just really do better by yourself. And tonight was one of those nights it was like work by yourself type of night. So I was like, okay, I'm work by myself and see how I do. And I worked by myself and I did 11.29. So I'm happy about that. I didn't get in any sections. I didn't partner with nobody. I was literally by myself. So it's nice to be able to make a bag by yourself. Yeah, that's how my night went. That was Saturday. So I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. I'm super tired. I'm starving. And I'm about to go to sleep. So I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. I'm about to get my car washed, you guys. It's so filthy. She needs a wash so bad, y'all. Like, my carpets are so dirty. Seats dirty, just dirty. She's so dirty. So, I'll see you soon, babe, when you're all clean. They got her right. Nothing like a clean car that smells good, y'all, okay? I love my car to be clean at all times. I never really been that girl that keeps her car junky. Like, my car is always very clean very clean yeah, i saw that i went to the grocery store and i'm just like obsessed with these shots you guys like they're like ginger shots elderberry ginger immunity boost shots these have like oregano in them. They have like Kanye, turmeric, ginger, all of the all that stuff. So I do be taking these. Put these in the fridge. Put these in the fridge. Y'all, this ice cream. Let me just tell you, if y'all don't eat Hagen Dazs ice cream, like what ice cream do you eat? Like. Hagen Dodge is the best ice cream, hands down, period. I don't want to hear nothing else, okay? I really gotta stop yelling in the club. Like, my voice is finna be gone. And it's very upsetting. Okay, so I don't know if the girls know about this or not, but I'm pretty sure y'all do because TikTok. I wanted to just try it out. I mean, I heard cucumber is a very good natural way to exfoliate your face. So what the girls have been doing is they just been shaving the skin off of the cucumber, which is what I'm about to do right now. And then you just put it in the freezer and let it freeze. I really don't even know how long you're supposed to let it freeze. I think you're just supposed to let it be frozen, I guess. Once you take it out the freezer, you just rub it on your face. And it's supposed to be like a really good natural way to exfoliate. I'm about to try it out and see what it does for your girl. Also, you guys, I've been using these eye patches. Let me show it to y'all. It's in the fridge. These under eye patches, they're the 24K gold eye mask. Under eye patches for maximum results, puffy eyes and dark circles, under eye bags and fine lines. For women and men, I got these off Amazon, you guys. I don't really remember how much they are, but I know that they weren't that much. I think they were like $13 or $15, and it comes with 20 pairs of them, and it says to keep them refrigerated. Have any of y'all tried this cucumber thing? If y'all have, let me know if it worked for you all about the skincare babe all summer all winter all year long we're just trying to have good clear skin okay so i'm about to just put it back in the bag that i got it in and put it in the freezer and let that freeze and we're gonna rub that all over our face later but I'm about to eat, y'all, and I'm about to uh, take a nap because I'm so tired. I'm off, like, four hours of sleep right now. So your girl needs to take a nap because I'm finna go to work tonight. Yesterday was good to us, so hopefully tonight is good to us, too.
Okay guys, so I'm back home from the club now. It's like 3 o'clock. I left early y'all because it just was like, mm, like it was whatever. It's a Sunday so I didn't have super high expectations. But as y'all know my minimum for me like to not be upset is $500. So I'm hoping that I at least made $500 tonight. Because if I didn't I'm kind of going to be irritated. Just because I had to deal with so many guys tonight keep asking for my number. And that's so annoying like especially the ones that are not tipping. Like why do y'all feel like y'all can ask me for my number you ain't even tip me. Like how does that even make sense in your head like. Oh, give me your number so I could take you out. Like, you're not even throwing no money. And then the guy had the audacity to hand his homie a stack while I'm talking to him. And he's asking me for my number. He hands his homie a stack of ones to throw at another girl. I said, not you giving him money to throw at somebody else while I'm talking to you. He gonna say, I'm trying to get to know you outside of this. I'm not even trying to throw no money. Oh, okay, that's all I need to know. Have a good night, sir. Like, I be giving everybody a fake number, y'all. I honestly have, like, two fake numbers that I always just type in because, no, you cannot have my number. And then they be like, oh, what you doing after this? Like, it's always the ones that don't got no money that want to ask you what you doing after this or what's your number. Like, you don't got no, you don't even give me no bread, bro. Like, make it make sense. Then after he hands his homie the $300 to throw at somebody else, he's going to say, oh, you only walked over here anyways because I had money in my hand, huh? I'm thinking in my head, like, nigga, you're in a strip club, duh. Like, I hate when people act like they don't got common sense. Like, you came to a strip club. I'm here to make money. This is my job. Like, I understand, like, dudes come to the strip club and they want to feel like you really want to talk to them. And that's what I'm very good at doing. I'm good at making it seem like, oh, I'm not here just for the money. I'm here because I want to get to know you. But sometimes that shit is exhausting. And no, nigga, throw this bread and talk and go. Like, it's like I know I'm here to sell you, like, a fantasy to make you think I want you when I really don't. But I mess with the people who come to the club, throw their bread, and go home. Like... Y'all the real MVPs. And if y'all can't tell, my voice is like even more gone than it was earlier. And it's because I have to continuously be yelling in the club like people cannot hear. But I'm going to do this money count, y'all. I got big bills and then I got these ones. I'm really hoping this is at least $500. So I'm about to count it. So in big bills, I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 2, oh my god, these are all backwards, okay, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, so that's 300 in 20s, and then I have this, which I feel like, so if this is $200, I have exactly 500, but I feel like this is probably a little bit less than 200, this is probably like 150, so maybe I made like four fifty. We'll see. Um, I'm about to run this in the money counter. Be right back. So it was one eighty seven. So one eighty seven plus the three hundred dollars in big bills is four eighty seven. So I was really close to five hundred. I probably did make five hundred, but you know, tip out and all that stuff. So I made four eighty seven tonight, y'all. It's whatever, you know. Yep, that's how tonight went. It was just a lot of. Let me get your number. Let me get your number. Why do you want my number? I'm not going to answer the phone even if I did give it to you. I'm not super tired right now because I took a long nap earlier. So I'm going to take my makeup off, take a shower. I'm literally about to make lasagna. It's like the oven lasagna though. Like I'm not about to make it by scratch or nothing. I'm about to pop that in the oven. That shit takes like an hour to cook. So while I'm in the shower, I'm going to just be having that cooking and stuff. And I'm about to eat, and I'm going to do my little cucumber because they've been in the freezer since earlier when I talked to y'all. So I'm going to do those eye patches, and I'm going to do the cucumber and stuff. I'm just up, y'all, and tomorrow I don't really have much to do. I'm just going to take my hair down because my hair appointment's on Tuesday. So I'm going to check back in with you guys when I get out the shower. It's literally like 6 a.m., and I'm about to eat lasagna, but I don't know why I was craving lasagna really bad, so I was like, I'm about to make it. But I'm about to put my eye patches on too. They come in a pack like this, y'all. So this is how they look, y'all.
So I'll leave these on for 20 minutes. That's what the package says. And then my cucumber is frozen, frozen. Oh, it's like a rock. I'm dead. This is probably cold as heck. Oh my God, look. Okay, so this is how I look. I'm gonna just use the bag to hold it. But they say just rub it on your face like this. So, it just reminds me of when I use my ice roller, but it's probably more beneficial than the ice roller because of it's a cucumber. But yeah, so just rub it all over your face. I'll probably rub it under my eyes when I take these off. But yeah, y'all, I'm about to just eat this food rub this cucumber on my face and i'm gonna make me some tea too and then i'm gonna go to sleep i'm probably gonna sleep so good because i just took a shower i'm gonna be full after i eat and then i'm gonna drink some warm tea so yeah i'm about to sleep like a baby but i'll see you guys tomorrow what's up guys so today is tuesday now and i am about to get my hair done y'all see the bonnet y'all know what time it is period so today i'm filming another video for ali pearl hair shout out to them for sending me this hair that i'm about to get installed i'm doing a whole video on it if you haven't watched that video make sure you go back and watch that video it's going to be posted before this one and i'm basically going to let my stylist that i always come to do whatever she wants to my hair today so we about to see what she do to my hair y'all and i gotta take pictures on friday so i'm hoping she do something fine but i know she gonna do something fine because she always got me so period so we about to go get this installed i'm not gonna be showing the install because y'all seen it a million times and it's gonna be in the previous video so y'all could go watch it on there if you want to see how she got to whatever style she's about to do so i'll check back in with you guys after i get my hair done Okay, you guys, so I've been back home now for a couple of hours. I just finished doing the video for this hair. I really just went to my hair appointment and told my stylist, like, do whatever you want. And I'm not going to lie, I was nervous at first. I'm like, what is she about to try to do? Because I want to take pictures and I need my hair to be bomb. But, y'all, she decided to go with the braids because she said the parting space on this wig was so nice that she wanted to do some braids. But I'm so glad I got my straight hair back, y'all. I'm feeling like me again, period. Like, don't play with me. It's just giving me motivation. It's making me want to be outside. Hair is done, okay? And I'm feeling great about it. I really like how she did these braids, y'all. They came out so cute. And if y'all in the LA area, make sure y'all go tap in with my girl, okay? Styled by Shell, period. Don't play with her. Because she gonna get you right every time. Baby hairs, everything. Like, what lace, babe? what lace like because i don't see it anyways today's tuesday i really wanted to go to work tonight y'all but i have to finish some promo for youtube so i'm gonna stay home and i'm gonna do that promo stuff and then i have a nail appointment tomorrow anyways at 9 a.m so i'm like mm, who finna be going to sleep at 5 6 in the morning and get up at 9 not me and i'm not finna miss my nail appointment so yeah there's that and i have to take these nails off too because i still have all of my nails on so i have to take them all off so tomorrow we're gonna go get our nails done and we're gonna do a little bit of shopping i will see you guys manana good morning guys so today is wednesday it is about 9 a.m right now and i am at my nail appointment starting the day early today i have errands i have to run stuff i have to do so i'm about to get the long nails back today you guys because i've been missing my long nails period so i'm not going to show y'all the process of me getting my nails done because i feel like it's so repetitive all the time like me getting my hair done my nails done and stuff like that Y'all, this man is talking to himself. I would show y'all him, but then I'll be showing, like, where my nail tech live, and I don't want to do that. So, he got a Bible in his hand, and he's talking to himself, and he's staring over here. L.A. for you. <laughs> L.A. for you. I'm just texting her that I'm here because I got here early. 
Oh, he's going in too. He's he's having a real full blown conversation. Don't do drugs, y'all. I wonder if y'all can hear him. But I don't put this gum in my mouth, so let me get off the camera. I'm gonna see y'all when I get my nails done. the details babe period okay so freaking cute and i didn't even plan on getting this lv um stone but this was the only cute silver one that she had so i just got this one she always understands the assignment if you guys are in the la area make sure y'all check her out nails by her i'll have it on the screen for y'all of course hey guys so i'm back home now i've been running errands all day you guys it's about 7 p.m. right now. I did go to the Louis store, as you guys saw, and I bought my first Louis bag, which, call me a basic bitch or whatever, but yeah, I got me a Louis bag, the bag that all the bitches get, but so what? <laughs> I felt like it was a necessity, and I'm gonna do an unboxing for you guys. I literally have it sitting right here. This is a bag that you definitely should have, and honestly, I'm surprised that it wasn't my first um, luxury bag purchase but it's okay because i got it now and honestly after i bought this bag i just like had a moment i was like the fact that i was able to buy this bag and it not have any type of effect on me is like such a blessing i really had to just thank god like on the way to the car i'm so blessed to be able to make purchases like this like two years ago if you would have asked me like girl let's go buy a louis bag i would have been like who's gonna buy a louis bag because i can't and the fact that i can now is just like amazing i'm just nothing but blessed and i just had to thank god i'm in no rush to keep up with anybody else i could have bought this bag a long time ago but i didn't because i didn't feel like it was the right time but now i feel like it's a good time and i deserve it because i've been working hard this is the bag right here and we're gonna unbox it Vuitton never full mm and I love it I love it so much I think I like it this way better though for like a everyday look this is how it looks with the sides pulled in I was like oh yeah I like yeah I just like it like this better with the sides sucked in but I probably will have the sides sucked out sometimes but just depends on what look I'm going for I'm going to give y'all the exact price I paid for this bag. The exact price is, just in case any of the girls don't have one and want to go get one, it's actually lucky numbers. It was $2,222.85. That's crazy that it's 22222 like that. Oh, wow. <laughs> I like that. Okay. So that's my unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So for the rest of the day, I'm just going to be in the house. I'm going to clean up a little bit. And what else am I going to do? I'm going to go to sleep. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Okay, guys, so today is Thursday, and I haven't talked to y'all all day. It's like 7 o'clock right now, and um, I got my lashes done. As you guys can see, I feel like I'm back to myself now. Like, I'm back to me. Go ahead. 
I'm in such a great mood, you guys. I have to uh, shoot some content right now. So I'm about to link up with Armani and we're about to shoot some content for Instagram. So that's what we're about to do right now. And honestly, you guys, I'm probably gonna end the vlog here because I'm not going to work tonight. I just wanted to check back in with you guys and show you guys my lashes and stuff. And I'm just about to take pictures. So make sure you follow me on Instagram at honeyk 2 ease in the honey so you can see my pictures that I take because they're about to be fine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And make sure you turn your post notifications on so you can be notified every time I post a video. Because who don't want to watch my videos? Everybody want to watch my videos, period. Love you guys. Bye. Girl, you chosen. Fuck it up when you bust wide open. It's the ocean. I'm just imposing.